Yo, what is up, G Crew? I'm Chris G, bringing you guys another video. And in today's video, guys, I want to share with you how exactly did I put myself on my rooftop while the thunderstorm was going on, the lightning was crazy, the weather was insane, and yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so first thing we're gonna do is open up After Effects and you're gonna get your clips together. So, just to show you guys what I got going is I have a clip of me actually walking in my brother's room because he has this, um, I guess, I don't even know what this is called, but he has a huge window in his room. And the, the point of this video is not only to show you guys how to put yourself on the uh, on the roof or any building that you desire but it's to help show you guys that you can do anything as long as you shoot for the edit so I knew that I wanted to put myself on the roof and I know how to use certain effects um, to their maximum potential so what I did was I made sure I wore dark clothes and then I just walked along the background literally is what I did so um, it's pretty simple and yeah if you just see I'm just scrolling through here and I, I just walk from one side to the other so what I'm gonna do is make my in and out points by selecting I believe it is option and the bracket and then where I want to stop let's see and what we're gonna do is just get rid of everything around me okay so you can either color grade now or later color grading does affect the luma key by the way those of you that are wondering I use this light to project more light behind me if those of you that are wondering so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna color grade anything we're just simply gonna make um, a pretty simple mask it's not, nothing too crazy and this is gonna be the first mask of many not that many masks really we're gonna keyframe the path of the mask by selecting the stopwatch here and just by clicking it you'll notice it creates this diamond on the um, timeline so I usually say don't go every um, frame because that's gonna take you forever and actually I did notice right here let's fix this composition so now everything's looking normal again so we'll go about every 12 frames and of course this is not the final product guys this is literally just the garbage mask which is step one of the whole process so let's see let's go back and you'll notice here at the halfway point my shoe starts to get covered so no biggie and right here as well my jacket starts to get covered so not a problem I'm gonna make a keyframe in between the keyframe and what that's gonna do is adjust the path in between so it kind of fixes it and there we go and then pretty much I go in between every checkpoint just to see okay well what points are getting mixed up with each other that pretty much looks good that is not the halfway point either but that's just as fine honestly right here my shoe is getting cut off so I'm gonna extend this and then that should be good uh, it's getting kind of close to my pants right here so I'm gonna separate that and everything's looking good and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the effects and presets panel and we're gonna look up the luma key all right so we're gonna put this on top of the clip we're gonna key out the brighter parts of course we don't want to key out the darker parts and you're gonna see I, I, I'm gone all right so all we have to do is now go to the threshold put it back a little bit higher and let's see okay so what we're gonna do is actually go to the lumetri color effect and we're gonna apply this onto here and we're actually gonna put it above the luma key and then what we're gonna do is hide the luma key really quick so that way we can see what we're messing with just to see how we can separate myself from the background as much as we can so another tool that's gonna help out keying things it's called a key cleaner okay so looking back at the shot right here you'll notice that there's still a bit of um, a portion of where I was stepping right here right between my legs so what we're gonna actually do is we're going to increase this uh, threshold right here or decrease it I'm sorry and then what you can do from here is um, just pre-compose it because what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna move all the attributes into this composition and then we're gonna go get our other footage of the sky or the house my house to be exact 
what we're gonna do is resize this um, clip here and r rotate it correctly to make it straight because clearly I don't know how to shoot a straight time lapse so that looks about straight to me what we're gonna do now is go to our composition and resize ourselves here so we're gonna make it about 14 I believe that's like a good go-to or 15 even and that looks pretty good to me alright so what we're gonna do as well is reposition myself to where Let's see where I'm at when I'm at the beginning of the clip. Okay, so we're going to reposition ourselves right here and also just put ourselves right on the house. So if we play it now, it should look like we're walking on the house, guys. And so a little thing that I wanted to add just to show you guys is, of course, the lighting does not look proper right here. I feel like I'm lit too much. So what we can do is just simply go back to the Lumetri effect and on top of the composition here. We can just darken ourselves by honestly lowering the highlights completely and then lowering the exposure just a bit we still want some color just not a lot or some detail so already that looks much better now for the final part guys is to have the lightning so what we're gonna do is add a new adjustment layer and we're gonna add the lightning to the adjustment layer here so that way it can appear over the, sc the screen so that way it looks like there's lightning so what we're gonna do is start it from the top of the screen all the way to the bottom of like maybe where it touches the house try to make it look like in the background we're gonna change the color to just white and it's a simple little edit guys nothing too complex um, you know I haven't used anything crazy we're gonna use about segments about three of them uh, maybe a little bit more we'll keep it at seven what we'll do is change the detail to about four or five five looks fine actually that looks like a little bit too much we'll do three you'll notice it kind of just adds a little bit more detail into the lightning and then we're going to increase the width of the lightning bolt and then we're going to change the variation so that way it looks a little bit more you know complex it's not you know one straight line or, or the width starts higher and gets you know skinnier and gets thicker when it touches the ground so and then from there guys like i said you only see it for like a split second so what we're going to do is only have it last about two frames and then we're going to hit command shift d all at the same time and you can delete the rest of the layer and that'll allow you to just have it for a couple frames here and that looks pretty good i think maybe just one less layer and i think that'll be i mean one less frame and that should be good all right so from there guys all you have to do now is just copy this layer and then move it somewhere else wherever you want it and then we can just also move the um the starting point of where you want it so we can have it over here and just move it all around wherever you want something that we also want to add is an exposure effect and then we're gonna just keyframe there if we want we can keyframe it here as well and just increase the lighting by a lot let's just say like right there and then from the next frame we can put it back to like negative seven and you just keep moving it around guys it, it honestly don't overthink it literally you can go back and forth or whatever and literally don't overthink it just make your make your edits how you want right so it's all subjective guys and at least make it make sense so if there's a lightning bolt coming you know then obviously it should look something pretty bright if we ram preview this you'll see that it kind of flickers right there right so that's kind of the look we want to go for it makes it more believable that way when we add some lightning to the shot here is the final product Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely learned something new making this crazy cool little edit that I put together. So have yourself a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and don't forget to please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.